the classroom. Now let's begin. Now, here's the host of the classroom, Richard Curtis. Samina, Ryan, and Anders, you guys can beat these teachers. I believe in you. Let's go. What up? I didn't say that to them. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. What's going on, audience? And how are you at home? Welcome to the show. Today, these three students to my right are taking on these three incredible teachers. Well, who's going to win? Well, they're from Wincroft School in Montgomery County, and they're officially in the classroom. You guys know the drill. They show up, they battle for $500, and the audience just goes bananas. And what's up out there? Look at that mascot. I love it. You guys look awesome. So do you at home, and I'm so glad you're here. What do you guys say? Let's kick this show off with a pop quiz. Grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. All right, you guys know the drill. Buzzers are in hand. Good luck, everybody. Question one, pop quiz. Currently, the word noon is used to refer to what time? First one in, Mr. Turok. 12 p.m. 12 p.m. Extra credit question. This one's worth double. Surface water from precipitation and melted snow that flows across land to rivers and lakes is called what? First one in, Ms. Zarkins. Fog. Incorrect. Uh. Students, free guess here if you want it. They don't, so we'll move to the next question. The answer, runoff, or runoff surface, overland flow. What Pixar movie franchise released its fourth movie of the series in June of 2019, featuring a character named Duke Kaboom, Mr. Turok? Toy Story 4. Toy Story 4 is right. During the westward expansion, what state was the starting point of the Oregon, California, and Santa Fe trails? Tough question here. The answer, Missouri. According to a popular expression, what fruit keeps the doctor away if you eat one a day? Samina. Apple. Apple. There you go. Students on the board get you the 10 points. What is 8 multiplied by 11? Samina again. 88. 88. Good job. Double up. Which planet in our solar system has the most rings? Mr. Turok. Saturn. Saturn. Nice knowledge there. What is the name of SpongeBob's blue pet snail with a pink shell? Right? Gary. Gary. Good. What type of short fictional story, typically with animals as characters, teaches a lesson or conveys a moral to the readers? A fable. Yeah, a fable is right. Smuckers has a line of frozen peanut butter and jelly sandwiches called what? Mr. Turok. Uncrustables. Uncrustables is right. Welcome to the Turok Show, ladies and gentlemen. How about it? Rattles a few off. We're off to a great start. Teachers, 50 points for you. Students, you guys got 30 points on the board. You're playing the game. That's the way to do it. Today, we have the students and teachers from the Wincroft School in Pottstown, Pennsylvania. You guys' school looks awesome, Anders. Like, that thing's pretty awesome. I, you know, speaking of awesome, let's meet you. Hi, I'm Anders. I'm an eighth grader at the Wincroft School, and the W in teacher stands for win. Hi, I'm Ryan. I'm in eighth grade, and I'm excited to finally teach the teacher something, how to lose. Hi, I'm Samina. I'm an 8th grader at the Wincroft School. I'm the new student this year, and I may not know the teachers very well, but I know that they're going to lose today. I'm Mrs. Arkins, Wincroft's Director of Communications. I may not work in a classroom, but I can't wait to play in the classroom. Hi, I'm Mrs. Fickert. I teach 3rd grade in our lower school, and today we're going to teach the 8th graders how to take an L. Hi, I'm Mr. Torak, and I teach Latin at the Wincroft School. Victory party in the Latin room. Bring your toga. Oh, how about it? We got toga parties to the left of me. Anders spelling, I'm not sure. Do you guys have spelling class? Because there is absolutely no W in teachers. We do not. Ex <laughs> That's the joke, because the teachers have no chance of winning today. Yeah. Yes. And it literally took my producer in my ear to tell me that, because I had no idea. Let's play attention! <laughs> Put your buzzers down, you'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. 
If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. Okay. That's how you play detention. 40 points on the line here. Students, category is going to go to you first. And here it is. Popular books. Player pass. Uh, we'll play. They're going to play. Here we go. Who is the author of the book series, A Series of Unfortunate Events? You can talk about it. One second, guys. Got to come up with an answer. Answer? Oh, I don't know. Oh, Lemony Snicket is what we were looking for. So no movement over here yet. But teachers, you have a big decision to make. You get to choose one of these three students to go to detention. Who's it going to be? Bye, Samina. Samina, how about it? <laughs> she is off to detention. Samina, you're new to your school? Yes. This I year? Am. Yeah. And now you have your first detention at this school? Yeah. All right, things are going well so far. Here we go, teachers. Back to you. Your category is sports. Play. Oh, yeah. no. we're, we're playing. In the NHL, the Blue Jackets represent what city? Columbus, Ohio. Very good. Well done. Teachers take the commanding two person lead. Who's it going to be, Anders or Ryan? Anders. Team captain Anders out of the game, leaving Ryan all to herself. You know what I like about you, Ryan? You've been dancing the whole show. You do this little two-step. I don't know. Do you want to hit me with one real quick? There. Okay, see, she's been doing this. That's how I'm confident you're still going to win this round. Category goes back to you. Pop culture. Play. What party favorite dance named after an animal has people repeat the same moves four times? Open and close finger beaks, flap elbows like wings, wiggle hips, and lastly, clap hands. One second. I don't know. Oh, top um. one. The chicken dance is what we're looking yeah. for. Something no one ever wants to do at a party, and the teachers are currently crushing. <laughs> teachers win the round. Ryan, you are headed to detention. I, I, you know, sometimes you just gotta get involved. I'll tell you what, I haven't seen a good chicken dance in a while. But I got three students in detention. 40 points gets added to their score, and you are required to come back. Right after this, we hit art class, so we'll see you then. in Montgomery County. Yeah, you can hear from them. They're awesome. These guys are rocking and rolling. You go there. What's your name? Hi, I'm Jackson. I'm in fifth grade, and I go to the Wincroft School. That is an intro if I have ever heard one. I didn't even ask for an intro, and this guy is just delivering. Dude, you enjoying the show so far? Yeah, it's really fun. All right, who do you got winning this thing? Uh, I'm going teachers. Teachers? Do you, always, do you always pick teachers, or do you think your students have a chance? Well, I think the students have a chance, but the teachers are totally winning this. All right, well, who's going to win it? Does he come true? We'll find out. The show continues on. It's our class. Let's go. <laughs> that kid is a star in the making. Here's how this game will work. Each team selected one player to draw. Hey, Ryan, she's up here right now. The trailing team's going first, so the students are up here already. You're going to select a card. It's got a word or a phrase on the inside. Five seconds to draw whatever you see. Okay, teammates, 10 seconds to come up with the correct answer, right? The correct answer in the first round's 30 points. Yes, incorrect. I'll give you two more shots. Points decrease. So here you go. Big decision, Ryan, red or blue? You take blue. You stand back here and open that up immediately. I'm going to uncap your marker for you. All right. Do you like it? Yeah. All right. Here we go. You ready? Five seconds. Starts right now. All right. She's off to the races here. Okay. Here we go. You guys ready? Talk about it. What is it? 
a shovel. For 30 points, yeah! Ryan, this is the perfect time to give him a little dance move. Give him a little dance move. Ho, ho! All right, listen, awesome job. I take this. You switch with Miss Fickard over there. We're gonna get her up here. I'm gonna give you this red card now. Let you open that. How about those dance moves? She's got some great moves. She does. All right, that's what you're drawing. Okay, you ready? Got a marker in your hand. Five seconds starts right now. Okay, stop right there. Here we go. Ten seconds. For 30 points, round one. Bubbles. Bubbles is right. How about a two absolute artist in the first round? Teachers loving it. They should. You guys buckle up because I'm putting more points on the line. Extra credit. Hey, Ryan, just hanging out right now with the friends. I love it. I'm going to ask one extra credit question. Both teams will have one minute during the commercial break. Ryan is all over the set right now, and she is pumped for those 30 points. Correct answer here is 10 points. Here it is. What is the first name of Sleeping Beauty's prince in the classic Disney movie? Do you know the answer? I think I might have just heard it over here somewhere. I don't know if they got it right, though, and I'll tell you when we come back. Great job, Mrs. Speaker. On fire! To the classroom today we have the students and teachers from the Wincroft School in Montgomery County if you're just tuning in teachers are a little bit ahead here 120 to the students 60 but you're aware that everyone at the school is an artist both times you guys both had 30 points there in the last round so what did I do I put a little extra credit into the mix and I said this what is the first name of Sleeping Beauty's Prince in the classic Disney movie students honors big Disney guy everyone knows that about him <laughs> you said the first name was John Oh, <laughs> incorrect, but that was a good guess. Teachers. Philip. Philip is right. A little behind the scenes info for you. They started writing Philip and erased it and went with John. They were very close. And students, you guys are playing a great game here. So $500 is not out of the realm and not out of your hands yet. If you guys do win it, where's it going to go? It's going to go to. To Spiro, to Spiro Robots for a school. See, I always like to reference the ladies, too, when I say, where's the money going, honey? She goes, yeah, it's going right there. So nice choice. That's a great place to put it, you guys. I hope you win that money. And teach has... We are going to get our teachers a cricket machine. Let's go. Make some t-shirts and stuff. Right. All right. <laughs> My mom's a big cricketer. She's at home going, yes, girlfriend. Love that. So hopefully you guys win it for the teachers. You guys get those homemade t-shirts. All right. Picture day rolls on next. All right, guys, grab your buzzers, both sides here in hands. We're going to show you all a picture of a famous person, place, or thing. We covered completely with boxes. I'll give you three clues, teams. One at a time with each clue. I'm going to remove three more of those boxes. If you buzz in, you get it correct. Ten points. If you don't, your side's locked down. The other side can jump in and steal that round. Here we go. We have three pictures today. Let's jump into it with this first picture, this first clue. Good luck. She has a collection of rubber duckies. Hmm. No guesses here. We move to clue two. Three more boxes here. This should help clear it up a bit. She's been in an on-again, off-again relationship with The Weeknd for years. Mr. Tura. Selena Gomez? Is that Selena Gomez? Incorrect. Students, free guess here if you'd like it. Buzz in, though. No talking and nobody. So I'm going to give you this clue three. This supermodel has a famous sister named Gigi. One second, nobody buzzed in. We're looking for Bella Hadid right there. And Adam the suits are like, yes, I knew it, but did not get it in in time. Picture two rolls on next here in Picture Day. Let's see how we do. This person was actively involved in the civil rights movement. Mr. Turok? Martin Luther King Jr. Is that MLK? Incorrect. Students, free guess here if you'd like it. Buzz in. Samina? Rosa Parks. Is that Rosa Parks? Incorrect. We moved to two. The MLB celebrates him every year on April 15th. Mr. Turok. Jackie Robinson. Is that Jackie Robinson? There's the points. There they go. Get you up to 140. 
Students have one more left to try to clean it up here with picture three. Good luck. This character can be seen in countless memes. <laughs> Ryan? Pepe? Is that Pepe? Incorrect. Teacher's free guess if you want it. Mr. Turok? Baby Yoda? Is that Baby Yoda? <laughs> yes, Baby Yoda! <laughs> Turok is officially on fire! Both teams, you guys are rocking. 150, students 60. We're wrapping it up in final exam. Here we go. The topic of today's final exam is odds and ends. It's a little bit of everything, so you never know what you're going to get here. How fun is this? I'm going to ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer squads is going to get you 100 points, 300 points possible here, so it's anybody's game. You will write down your answers during the commercial break. No writing quite yet. Anders, you guys have been playing a great game so far. Can we expect a big comeback? out of this squad. Yes, we can. See, that's exactly why we stick around. Teachers, how about you guys? Will you let those students come back? No. Oh, no. Tura, you said that <laughs> with such straightforward. Yes, there's no chance. Well, let's get to the questions. We'll figure out who's going to be the king and queen of this episode. Here we go. Coal, crude oil, and natural gas are energy-rich substances formed from the buried remains of plants and animals that lived millions of years ago. What are these energy sources collectively known as? Odds and ends, question two. What is the name of the social media star with a glow up Snapchat show and a popular YouTube account featuring getting ready videos as well as her songs Queen and My Story? Finally, what is the three word name for the perspective from which a story is told? For example, first, second, or third person. There are your questions, 100 points each, 60 seconds on the clock. Students may not be smiling right now, but when they come back, and win that 500, they sure will be. Teachers are here for the victory as well. 500's on the line and bragging rights for decades to come. Who wins this episode? We find out right after this. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. It's the classroom. You guys know the drill. Students, teachers, everybody's going for $500. It's the Wincroft today. Who's going to win this thing? Students, you guys have been rocking and rolling. I, you're, yes, you're behind right now, but the one thing I love about you three is you've been rocking the dance moves all day. Hit me a little freestyle right now. All right, okay. Wait. That was the most choreographed freestyle I've ever seen you guys rock. <laughs> hey, the topic of today's final exam is odds and ends. That means we threw everything in there. You didn't know what you're going to get today. And before we went to break, I asked all three questions. You guys heard them. Not many of us were smiling after them, which I have no idea if you know them, but they're all worth 100 points each, possible 300 up for grabs. You guys are down less than 100 points, so you're only one question away from taking the lead. Let's do this with question one. Here we go, topic, odds and ends. Coal, crude oil, and natural gas are energy-rich substances formed from the buried remains of plants and animals that lived millions of years ago. What are these energy sources collectively known as? Students, Samina. Fossil fuels. Fossil fuels get you up to the lead. Mr. Turok, our Latin teacher, still holding on to that language. Fossil fuel. Speaking of fossil, right? There he goes. How about it? And we move to question two. Let's do it. What is the name of the social media star with the glow up Snapchat show and a popular YouTube account featuring getting ready videos as well as her songs Queen and My Story? You got to think students love YouTube. They probably watch a bunch of it. Do you guys watch YouTube? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you got to think this question could be right up your alley, but getting ready videos? I don't know. Ryan, let's see what you said. Kylie Jenner. That's a good guess, but incorrect. Teachers, Mrs. Fickert. Jenna Marbles. Incorrect as well. No points. 
in that round, the answer was Lauren Gray and her Getting Radio video. I may have not seen them, but someone in the audience said it was excellent, so make sure you check those out. Finally, here it goes. This show comes down to our final question of the day. Students, you really want to get this one right here. What is the three-word name for the perspective from which a story is told? For example, first, second, or third person. The points look 250 for teachers, 160 for our students. Get this right, students, and they get it wrong. You guys win this $500 and complete one heck of a comeback. Anders, team captain. Point of view. Point of view. And you are still alive in this game. Teachers have not started smiling yet. In fact, Ms. Argus, you're doing, you're, you're, I don't know what you're doing. It could be good or it could be bad for the win. And 500, you said. Point of view. Point of view. Teachers, hold on and win this game. Here comes the check and the friends. Come on out, students. You guys played great today. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. We'll see you guys next time with a brand new check, a brand new school, and all sorts of fun. We'll see you next time. You guys played great today. Awesome. The Wincroft School rock and rolling. The fun continues wherever you are. Follow the classroom on social and keep watching. Weeknights at 6.30 p.m. on Fox 29.